Hello students, hope all of you are fine. Today we are going to solve exercise 10 from Creative Writing Book 5. So we start our lesson. This is page number 99 from your book. Here is a part. Your teacher has asked you to read at least one story book during the one week holiday. After reading, you need to hand in a summary of that book. Make sure you write the characters, the plot in general, and the conclusion in your summary. The title of the book is The Youngest One, author of the book, Thorley Fowler. The Youngest One is a book about a boy called Craig Martin. He is very passionate about AFL, but this is an interest. He shares with no one in his family. He shares a room full of bugs and has a brother called Lee who teases him. When his dad loses his job, everything goes bad. When the kids step in, they go around helping random people do housework for a small payment. His dad went away but took the bank book with him. The weekend... He had his first game without his dad over on the sidelines, but his ground final, but his grand final. That morning, Craig and Julie were up early to spot a fairy penguin. They quick woke the rest of the family to find themselves filled with joy and excitement. B. In expository writing, you may want to include your feelings and state your reasons on the subject matter. This is done so as to inform your reader your intentions and you stand to the matter. Complete the following sentences by stating your reasons and feelings towards it. 1. I prefer badminton to tennis because the racket is lighter and it is easier for me to handle it. 2. Writing is indeed an enjoyable activity because words can express clearly what I want to say. 3. Drinking lots of water is a simple way of staying healthy. 4. Mosquitoes are annoying insects because their bites can make a person feel itchy for hours. 5. I could not speak a word for a moment because of sudden accident. 6. I encountered a problem for I was ill-prepared for the huge responsibility that was needed when planning for an overseas trip. 7. As I had been insensitive towards her needs, I apologized to my friend. 8. As I had unintentionally spoiled the customer's meal, I compensated the ill rate customer with a voucher. 9. Since I know how to pitch a tent, I should help them out. 10. As the journey from Melbourne to Sydney takes a few hours, I have decided to take a book so that I would not be bored along the way. C. There are many products found on the shelves of a departmental store or a supermarket. Most products have a similar purpose, yet they are different in the way they are used or its texture may be different. Compare the following pairs of objects and state their similarities and differences in the table. Objects Bar soap, shower gel. Similarities, they are both used for cleaning our bodies. They produce a lot of foam when mixed with water. Differences. The bar soap is uh, in a solid form. The shower gel is in a liquid form. The bar soap is wrapped with paper and placed on a dish. When used, the shower gel is stored in a bottle. Chopsticks, fork and spoon. Similarities. They can be used for eating both rice and noodles. Differences. The pair of chopsticks is held in one hand. But the spoon is held in the right hand and the fork is in the left hand. Mobile phone, telephone. Similarities. They are both used to communicate with people who are not with us. 
difference is the mobile phone can be used even when the person is on the move but the telephone can be used at a fixed place mechanical pencil pencil similarities both can be used for writing writings done by both can be removed with an eraser differences the mechanical pencil does not need to be sharpened but a pencil gets blunt after use objects elephant camel similarities both are huge animals and are much bigger than man both help man in their work difference is the elephant lives in jungle but the camel lives in the desert the elephant cannot go without water but the camel can go without water for many days computer television similarities both are ways in which we can obtain information both are bulky items that cannot be easily transported differences the computer allows a person to enter information into it through typing but on television we can view program apple pineapple similarities both are fruits having the word apple in their names differences apples are smaller than pineapples apples have smooth skin whereas pineapples have thorny skin radio portable player similarities both can be used to play music both can be easily carried around differences the radio player plays music that is broadcast by radio station the portable player plays music from a tape or a disc d write the most appropriate words that can be found on the following signs refer to the situations given carefully 1 Please return the book to the shelves after use. Two, parking fees Monday to Friday, nine a.m. to six p.m. Three, throw all litter into the bin. Four, smoking is prohibited. E. Read each of the following carefully. Complete the following by filling in the blanks with suitable words. Write only one word in each blank. One Sandy came across two new words while she was reading a book. She needed to look up the meaning of the words in a dictionary. Two Mother put all the dirty laundry into the washing machine, but she could not find the detergent. She had forgotten to replenish it. Replenish it. Three Peter went shopping with his mother. He felt very thirsty, so he went to a vending machine to get a cup of tea. Four. My grandmother was short-sighted and wanted to watch television, but she had forgotten where she had placed her spectacles. Five. After soaping and rinsing her body. My little sister got out of the tub. She found she had forgotten to take a towel. Six. Regardless whether it rains or shines, the umbrella is always in my mother's handbag. Seven. Tina, George, and William were exploring some caves near the beach, but their torch had run out of battery. What could they do then? Eight. We use a microscope to observe our cheek cells. As pretend you are a dinosaur, write two journal entries of your daily life. Get your facts on dinosaurs right before you start writing. Your journal entries should have at least two hundred words altogether. Helpful hints to get you started. Describe your habitat. Write what happened during the two days. Describe the activities you did throughout the two days. who your enemies or prey are i am a tyrannum i am a tyrannosaurus rex i am known by my fellow dinosaurs as the torrent of the land they must be terrified of me since i am always going after them i am living in the forest in north america north America this is the perfect place for me to live since i eat mostly plant eating dinosaurs 
It is easy for me to find them here. Today I managed to capture a dinosaur. It was the best meal I had for a long time. Day 2. I was walking through the forest today when I saw a trandon flying about me. I have always been curious about them. Their wings are so big and they look heavy yet they can fly. I would much rather eat larger dinosaurs like the delicious one I just had yesterday. Thanks for listening. For new videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like my videos, please share and like.